I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of Python programming. In this session, I'm going to discuss one of the most important questions which can expect in the university examination, that is local and global scope. It is also known as local variable and a global variable, okay? So what is the importance of local and global variable in Python programming? So please don't leave this topic because it, uh, I'm very sure that one or other way it can ask in the examination. Also, it will be helpful for during the placements and whenever you are developing a program, this concept is very important because if you are dealing with a function, you should know what is local and global scope. Yes, of course, before moving on to the session, I request you all uh, to like my uh, particular video if you are really uh, pleased with this. Also, kindly share with your friends, those who are uh, working on Python programming. Moving on to the discussion. So, first of all, I will discuss about the significance of local and global scope. Suppose if you are using a function, user-defined function, uh, you should know the basics of local and global variable, or you can call it as local and global scope. You know, uh, in Python programming, local and global scope refers the visibility as well as accessibility of variables within different part of the program, within and a different part of the program. Suppose a program which may be having more number of lines. In between, there is a function in between. Okay. So we need to, like, uh, whenever you are declaring that variable and whenever you are using that variable, you should identify the variable is present inside the function or outside the function that you have to verify it. Otherwise, uh, I'll tell you what is the impact which is going on. You may get errors. Okay. So I'll let you know the significance. So, time being in this slide, we'll understand that. Uh, whenever you are dealing with the variables within the function and outside function, you need to consider this particular concept. Okay, so visibility and accessibility of the variable you have to consider. First of all, I'm going to talk about what is the meaning of local scope or local variable. So first we'll understand the meaning. Local scope refers to the innermost level of the program, typically within the specified function or a block of code. I'll show you with the help of a program like uh, so that you will understand. So similarly, we can say that the variables declared within the local scope only accessible within that particular function or a block. So that is considered as local variable. That means the variable which is present within the function, inside the function, correct, inside the user defined function is generally called as local variable. You know, the local variable is have, having uh, less limit lifespan, limited lifespan in the sense, uh, the accessibility and the visibility which is applicable only within the function. Outside the function, if I am trying to call that variable, definitely I'll be getting the error. So uh, we can execute a program and uh, I can prove that. We can prove that. Uh, see, the meaning is attempting to access the local variable outside of its defined scope result will get errors. Okay, if you are trying to uh, do the operation, suppose a variable X is available within the user defined function. Later on, I am trying to uh, manipulate X in another operation. Definitely, I am getting the error, like a un undefined variable. Something like that, you will get the message. I think you understood what is local variable or local scope. For to, uh, to have a better knowledge, let us have a simple program so that uh, you can thorough the concept very uh, very well. Yes, uh, let us say a use, an user-defined function. Where Can you identify various user-defined functions? Yes, I can point out. This is our user-defined function. DEF my function. So my function become a user defined function. What is a variable x is equal to 10? X is a local variable. Print x. I am printing the x. So simple operation. It's an user defined function uh, like a body, body like a, uh, the body of that particular function is x is equal to 10. So I am going to print the value of x. Later on, I came out of that particular uh, function. Okay, I just came out. Now moving on to the line number 5. Now I am going to go for, I'm going to proceed with other operation. Then I came out of the user defined function. Now my function, I just called a new function called my function. Then I am trying to print the variable X, but you know, the X is now, right now X is considered as local variable. Okay, it is very clear that X is local variable. Now outside, I'm trying to call, I'm trying to manipulate the X outside the user defined function. What will happen? Yes, name error because uh, the uh, lifespan of that particular x is applicable only within the function. Where is within the function? Yes, this is within the function. Till now, we can say that x is a local variable. x is a local variable, okay, local scope. Local scope or local variable. Now, trying to uh, like uh, access x outside the function, 
that become errors. I am getting errors right now. So why I am getting errors? Because I am trying to access the local variable outside the function so that I am able to get the errors. So please do understand this. This concept is called as local scope or uh, global scope. For example, I will be telling you one simple example. So we have a plot. Okay, consider a small plot. Okay, I will be considering a small, uh, small plot, for example. Yes, there is a small plot is available. Okay, small plot is available. Here, uh, what we can say, there is a well. There is a small well is available. Well, okay, small well. People, uh, like, uh, plenty of water is available. The outside the plot, there is another well, correct? Outside the plot, there is another well. You know what is well, right? Yes. Now, uh, this is a plot of Mr. Raju. Okay. Plot of Mr. Raju. Uh, this is a public property. Public. Public property. Okay. Like uh, government property. Public property. Now, uh, the well, the water uh, from that well, which is inside the plot, can access only by Raju. Okay. Uh, suppose I am outside person. Like X is an outside person. X is an outside person. I cannot access the water inside the well, which is belong to the plot of Raju. If I access, if I try to access the water from the Raju's well or Raju's property, what I will get? I will get a legal action or penalty. Okay. Trespassers will be prosecuted like that I can say. But if I talk about like, uh, so that is the meaning of like a local, uh, like a local variable. So the well, which is available inside the plot of Mr. Raju, that we consider as a local variable. So I cannot access the Raju's well outside that particular plot because that properties belong to Mr. Raju. Hope you understood. Yes. Uh, same example I can explain for uh, global scope also. I think you understood the concept, uh, the local and the global scope. Uh, local, local scope. Now I am moving on to the global scope. So one more example of local scope is uh, given here. Okay, you can just see there is a, a user defined function called spam uh, x equal to 31337 then spam. Now I am trying to print the x from the outside, outside the uh, function, outside the function. See, outside the function, I am trying to call, uh, I am trying to print x, definitely I will be getting the errors. The error happens because the x variable exists only in local scope created when spam is called. That is why, uh, so indentation, in, uh, indentation error. I am getting in the, like expected and in the indented block after the function defined on the line. So this is regarding the local scope. Now let me talk about the global variable or uh, uh, like a global scope. So what do you mean by global scope? Yes, the global scope refers to the outermost level of the program, typically outside any function or a code of block. I'm defining a variable. That variable is valid throughout the program, maybe within the function or outside the function. So that, that is a concept of global scope. So variables declare the global scope are accessible from anywhere within the program, including inside the function as well as outside the function. So that is a concept of global scope. The global uh, variable or global scope is having more lifespan. Okay, and uh, it through it is a, it is a, it is existing throughout the entire execution of the program. That is another speciality. The variable defined in the global scope can be accessed and modified within and uh, uh, outside the function. That is another peculiarity. This is regarding the global scope or global variable. Let me show you one simple example. Yes, let us uh, uh, go for a simple program. I request everybody to do the program in any one of your interpreter. About Python 3, Python 3. Any one of the Python 3 version, you can do it. So let me call y is equal to 5. So now I am clear enough. Y is actually a global variable. It is declared as global variable. Now I am going to define an user-defined function. What is the name of the user-defined function? My function. How did you uh, define the particular function? Because I started with a uh, keyword called a DEM. Then my function is become a user-defined function. Now I am going to try to print the value of y. Of course, I'll be getting the answer as 5. Yes, I got the answer as 5. Now what I'm going to do? Now I came out of that particular function. Now I created another function. Later I am trying to print the y once again. What is the answer? Yes, of course, the same answer I'm getting because y is equal to 5, that variable y is considered as global variable. The validity will be applicable throughout the program. Uh, it's applicable to any line of the particular program until the completion of the program. Lifespan is a more, more high, life, more lifespan compared to like a local scope. This is actually the concept of global scope. 
earlier i have discussed about a plot uh, mr raju's plot there is a well uh, which is inside raju's plot there is a well which is outside the raju's plot yes here uh, what what is the peculiarity is uh, the public property this is a public property i can access the well outside the Aju's plot, even this person also can access this particular well. Anybody can collect the water from the well which is outside that particular private property. So this uh, well which is belong to a public property, so water they can access, anybody can access the water outside that particular border. I think it's clear to everybody. So the well which is outside the Aju's plot is considered as, for some synonym, I can say like some example, typical example, like analogy. Uh, that is considered as a global variable or global scope. So this is actually the concept of global scope or global variable. Fine. So I think it's clear to everybody. So we have discussed about uh, local scope and global scope. Now for your better understanding, for your exam point of view, you may get a question like uh, uh, make a comparative analysis between global variable and a local variable or local global scope and lo global scope, local scope. Here, uh, they are defined in the main body of the program. So, we already found out. So, in case of local variable, they are defined within the function. Uh, if I go outside the function, that variable becomes invalid. I will be getting the errors, indentation error. They can access throughout the program. Correct. Global variable can access throughout the program. They can access only at a within the function. There are limitations. Uh, global variables are accessed, uh, accessible to all the function in the program. Exactly right. Uh, if I talk about the local variable, they are not uh, related in any way to other variable within the same name and outside the function. So, lo lo global variable, the lifespan is high, more lifespan. If I talk about the global variable, lifespan is restricted. These are the few differences between uh, local scope and global scope. I explained with the help of a well which is available in Raju's plot, the well which is available in a public property. So, the well which is applicable at the private pr public property can access anybody. Even Raju can access, even I can access. Uh, separate, any person can access. That is considered as global variable or global scope. One example, okay. Just, uh, just for your better understanding, I have given the example, okay. So, that you will understand better. Uh, if I talk about the Raju's pro property, the well which can access only by Raju. Other person cannot be accessed. and uh, They may attract penalty or something, some legal action, etc. That is considered as local variable. Okay, these are the very very uh, important concepts in Python programming. If I if you want to uh, learn the function user defined function in a better manner. So whenever you are doing the coding, be careful while calling the variable. Check whether it is inside the function or outside the function. Whether it is local variable or global variable. If you are watching my channel first time, I request you to subscribe this channel. You will be getting similar kind of video. Even I request you to put the bell button so that whenever I am uploading the video, you will be notified. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if you have any if you are having any queries. I need your uh, frank feedback for that so that I can improve my presentation. So have a happy learning. Uh, have a great day. Thank you.